Hi, this is Chris Cartan, that's Mr. Jet to you. And I have got something that has been of great discussion to Nick lately in my hands right now. Now this may look just like a Zeus shell without a stock on it. <laughs> oh, you may notice the magazine, that's right. This is the Omni Breach. Um, and I want to explain a little to the difference between Omni, Alpha, and Omega. Okay, there are differences, all right? Uh, a lot, the, the biggest difference between the Omni and the Alpha. The Alpha and the Omega, they're just, the one's plastic, one's metal. Okay, so, this is a breach that can fire not only full-length darts, but can fire stephens. Now this is a Path V magazine. As you can see, it fires a pretty good velocity and rate. Now this is just a prototype. It's not finished yet. This isn't the final product. As a matter of fact, I'm using the version one breach and my, my engineer's like, why aren't you using the version two breach? It's like, well, the thing is, is that it's much easier to see in video. That's why. So let's get to that, shall we? If you can see the breach, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's the metal finger sticking there. It's basically, this is it right here. It has a, a breach in the back that can grab full length darts. It's set back farther than your normal um, alpha breach, which your normal alpha breach is set forward. So you can see that this is spaced more for Stefan's and this is spaced for full length. But look at the finger on it. It's still, yeah, it's still long enough to grab a Stefan, isn't it? Grab a step and throw it into this breach and fire it. That's absolutely correct. And the speeds aren't that bad too. Um, 10 kilograms, I'm getting about 150 to 170 uh, feet per second. Now the difference between this alpha breach, and this is prototype number one. We're up to prototype three now, okay? But this is prototype one, um, where it's wrapped around. Prototype two is actually in the version uh, one um, alpha, you know, uh, the first one, a big blue. Um, because that's the, I did all the changes in two there. And this is actually what uh, version two alpha breach looks like. And now there's even a version three. And it's a little bigger around. But this is, this would reflect more of the Omega kit. How it's aluminum, um, it's tough, it's strong, it's all, it's really like streamlined to fit through your magazines really well, no matter what magazine you throw through it. Um, I actually sanded this and filed this myself. Yeah, I kid you not. And the, um, it, 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 it just is so incredible. It has a full seal. you got a full two millimeter seal here. Not a little seal, full two millimeter seal. you got 10 millimeters of dump. And what this does is make it far, far more powerful. Uh, much more air availability. Um, much, much better uh, usable, efficient power. Um, these can be upgraded to such levels of anywhere from 8 kilograms to, I could bet, 32. I'm going to try to do uh, 28 or 32 in big blue because I just put a 16-inch barrel on that thing. But there is one more thing I wanted to show you, other than explain the three different breach types, is the Katana mag. Now, many of you know me calling this the mini mag. We had just registered this copyright, and here it is. Brand new mini mag system, the Katana mag. Now what's so special about this is that you have an adapter that you can put in any blaster. This is originally made for the Archer pistol. Uh, this is the 15 round version right here. Um, and it fits in like so. And you can take them out. But here's the cool thing is you can put them in any Nerf blaster because you have an adapter. This one's a little snug, because it's a prototype. But as you see, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And then when you take it out, not just damn awesome. That is damn awesome. That is really, really cool. So, these are fascinating inventions and they're, they're fascinating and the thing I like about the Omni Breach the most and yes I will be honest I will probably use more either the Omega or the Alpha Breach for the simple reason that I'm a Stefan only player everybody knows I'm a guy who likes to go to distance 
And lately, I'm starting to see that the long shot is more practical. Why is it more practical? Well, because I started working here. <laughs> and I started to improve a lot of things. And with Jet Blasters, we have really done a lot. But I would also like to say that this, this magazine, I have thought about this magazine adapter for years. I never made it a reality. Uh, and it's because of Jet Blasters and their crew, you know, my boss, Jason, my engineer who usually sits right here, Alan, and, um, and Mason, uh, Mason Go, who also helps design, that all of this was possible. Um, and, and Alan really helped make a, a good prototype. I, I roughly catted it, I didn't have this and this, but he catted the rest of it. God, he did such a good job. I mean, really good job. Just a really good, cohesive team. Uh, a small team, but a cohesive one, working together, you know, as well as our, the rest of our support staff, working together to, to get all this done. I think that the Omni Breach is more for the entry level shooter. It, it's more for somebody who wants to cross over from uh, full length darts to, uh, to, to Stefan darts. Because I will tell you, it took me about a year and a half to actually go from full length to Stefan, and I wanted to for a year and a half. It wasn't until Armageddon 14 that I actually started to use um, cut down um, ex Explorer uh, version 2 darts. It wasn't until then, okay? And then after that, I started to get um, a long shot. My first Explorer Blaster ever was 2015. And the mags, you know, 2015, it took a long time. It takes a long time for sure to do this because this stuff costs a lot of money. And you have to redo your whole gear. Well, this makes it, see, you don't have to redo your whole gear. You can very easily just convert with this blaster. You can start with full length. And then you can buy your Stefan mags, try them out. Hey, you know, you want to try a banana P mag from work, or hey, try it out. Hey, you want to try a, an artifact P mag, yeah, work it out. You know, I, here it is. You know, I, I, let's try it out. You can do that. And before, you couldn't, because you had to change your whole breach system just to do that. Well, until next time, this is Chris Cartea. Don't you go changing.